Shalom and welcome once again to Treasures of the Torah. I'm Pastor Matt McEwen. This week, our Torah portion is called Ekev. And as I've told you in years past, although this word means because, if you spell it slightly differently in Hebrew, it can also mean the heel. And in Torah portions past or Torah cycles past, I have told you about how we need to make sure that we give as much effort into keeping those big, important mitzvot in our eyes as ones that may be trampled by our heels. Let me give you something else that is very interesting. Uh, this is from Rabbi Yaakov Yitzchak Horowitz, who was known as the seer of Lublin. Let me give this to you because in, in chapter 8, verse 14, the word haughty is used, lest your heart grow haughty or prideful, puffed up. Let me read to you what this rabbi says, because I think it's brilliant. Asked Rabbi Yisrael Baal Shem Tov, the Torah repeatedly warns against pride and extols humility. Nevertheless, this precept is not counted as one of the 613 commandments. Why is it not a mitzvah to be humble? I think this is a legitimate question. And perhaps I even missed the fact that it is not one of the 613. This is a curious statement to me. Why isn't it a mitzvah to be humble? Well, the Baal Shem Tov says this, if humility were a mitzvah, then the ego of a man would count it among its achievements. <laughs> I've told you many, many times this joke that someone told me years ago about someone who feigns humility. This person, he was a teacher of mine, used to say, oh, I'm humble. In fact, I'm the most humble person that I know. In fact, I've written a book all about me being humble, and it's full of pictures of me doing humble things. In this joke, in this way of speaking, what the person is actually saying is that they're proud of being humble. These two things cannot coexist. You can't be proud of being humble. And this is the answer that is given, the very wise answer as to why being humble is not one of the 613 commandments. It makes perfect sense. And it's almost a joke in and of itself, this question and answer. It's almost like if we really think about it, we think, well, this is obvious. Of course, being humble cannot be a mitzvah because we would, we would be proud of achieving that. I think this is a wonderful way with a, a smile, so to speak, to talk about a very deep subject. Pride is a sneaky thing. If we're not careful, it can slip into our daily lives. We might not even be conscious of it. We might simply be going about our day or about our business, about our jobs, and we may do something that causes us, causes us to feel maybe a bit of pride about how good of a job we've done or, or something like that. We might have a tendency to even pat ourselves on the back for doing something kind for another person. But this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the seed that eventually can become being proud of being humble. Remember what the scripture says, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he is the one that will lift you up. Many years ago, I did a teaching about how everyone needs to be humble. And this happens two ways, by you choosing to be humble or by the Lord humbling you. So if you really want to be great, Yeshua says you must be the servant to all. If you want to be high, you must be the lowest. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. The opposite is also true. If we exalt ourselves before the Lord, he's the one that will humble us. Thank you once again for joining me this week for this impactful Torah portion. I pray that it has been a blessing to you and I pray that even if you need a little bit of humbling, maybe if I need a little humbling this week, the Lord will lovingly and with his grace cut me down to size a bit and allow me to return to true humility. Thank you once again. Shabbat Shalom.